FX Futures Market was launched June 27, 2016 at the FMDQ OTC. With the core objective of reducing volatility and increasing investment inflows into the Nigerian foreign exchange market, with almost a month since the significant financial market event occurred in the country, Mr. Ishmael Umokocha, Head Corporate Treasury MTN, and Mr. Hakimo Yewale, CEO Stambik IBTC nominee, from an investor and banker perspective, give their interventions on what Nigeria stands to derive at the long run from this market. From a market development perspective, it's a welcome development. Um, it also helps us to discover price, you understand? And also, when you begin to um, record these um, expenses, they'll be reflected at um, fair market value as the case will be. And if you're carrying assets and things like that, so from an accounting point of view, from a governance point of view, it's a welcome development. Um, and then also from um, the depth of knowledge in terms of that has been absent in the market. I mean, we've just been trading sports and all those kind of things. It also begins to create some excitement around those and give us better price discovery. And then depending on which side you belong, whether on the buy or on the sell side, it'll help you to be able to manage your FX risk as the case will be. I think the major advantage that the launch will do is that it's going to bring a bit more certainty into the market. You know, so investors can actually project how much they're going to have to spend to acquire a sizable quantum of, um, of foreign exchange that will allow them to make their decisions whether to invest in equities, invest in uh, fixed income, or just plan for their dividends that they'll be repatriating. So that certainty does a lot in the risking investment opportunities in the country. Earlier said about transparency, I mean, whoever is going to make an investment wants to know, um, has to define his risk appetite, you understand? At what level am I ready to bring in my dollars? At what levels am I ready to retire my returns and things like that? For me, that helps to plan. And when you bring predictability in business, it helps to take away the, any unanticipated losses as the case will be. So it restores confidence to the market. And when there's confidence in the market, it brings transparency and then it improves liquidity that will be supplied. So from whether the market speculators or those who want to come and invest in short, medium, or long term, they'll be able to plan according to those um, price they will see. And then it's, I mean, it's favorable to everybody. So you don't have sudden shock and things like that. It's because of the sudden shocks. That's when you see investors start flying out and start you have knee-jerk responses and things like that. The major advantage that it's going to have is the certainty. Now, the Nigerian capital markets has, for the last few years, the valuations have actually been terrific. They've been very impressive. But there's that overhang of uncertainty. Yes, the market thrives on risks, but risks that you cannot dimension. Markets will just say, you know what, let's go to other places. So in the Nigerian capital market, because you've had very lowly priced stocks, I mean, the, the fundamentals are, are, are impressive. You know, the valuations are great. We expect that this will drive investors, especially foreign portfolio investors, to actually participate a bit more. And there will be the knock-on effect because once you see a lot of FPIs actually coming in and taking advantage of particular investment, the local investors too will buckle up. They will try and raise money. They will try and make investment decisions. Otherwise, they may not even have a voice, a sizable voice, when it comes to voting uh, in, in such corporate actions for such institutions. From what we see, it will bring market ad advancement from a financial market perspective, but also give confidence to investors who will bring money in and the, the, at the end of the day, as long as there's dollar liquidity and people are able to settle their obligation as the case will be, then there's no ne really knee-jerk response for, for, for price volatility that we've seen in the past 12 months. I think for investors, whether Nigerian or foreign, that have FX components in their investment portfolio, this FX future is actually something they should understand and embrace. But what it does is that it allows them to have one aspect of their investment under proper, uh, a proper bucket, you know, and that is the FS risk. So I will ask Nigerians and offshore investors as well to please take advantage of this uh, future that has been launched and actually uh, practice, invest and, and test it out and let's see how it's going to work. But I have confidence in what, uh, in, the, in the caliber of the FMDQ personnel that we've met, led by Coco, that they're going to ensure that Transparency, which is critical uh, in involving an efficient financial market, is actually brought to bear and people will be confident about the, uh, the determination of the pricing of these futures. At the end, analysts, experts and market players will expect 
a futures market that will drive liquidity into the Nigerian forex market.